Good morning, tubers, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danielle, and this is Discover Rescue. We are getting ready for another pretty decent winter storm. They're calling for about 10 inches of snow, so that means we're probably gonna get 16. And they're calling for the winds to be so bad that we're looking at minus 45 wind chill. So, we are getting obviously very prepped for the storm. Um, everybody's gonna stay inside for like probably up to four or five days. So we have to make sure we have everything in the barn to be able to entertain and feed them for that period of time. So I figured today I would take you on a little adventure on what we do to prep for such a storm. Come on. Peppers and I soak for pellets. <gasps> Kevin, out of the kitchen. Oh, 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 what was that? That was pretty dumb of me. Whoops. <laughs> I do a lot of them. What are you doing, Kevin? Is that a good job? Mm hmm? <laughs> oh, are you gonna headbutt the camera? Because it's not giving you a sun kiss? You're a good boy. What are you doing? <laughs> he didn't get my attention here, so look. Kevin, Kevin, heaven, when you're not in my kitchen making a mess. And maybe one day we'll be dancing cheek to cheek. But not today. Not today. I'm sorry, Kevin. <laughs> This is how we get ready to feed the pigs during a storm. It's romaine, romaine, broccoli, random cauliflower, or cauliflower, cabbage, peppers and peppers, three types of squash, bananas, uh, cantaloupe, I think this is honeydew, apples, more bananas, um, apples from last week's batch that I'm probably going to freeze for a rainy day. Huh? And um, cukes. Cukes. Yeah. I think we have enough food. Oh, and yeah, and just in case we didn't, you know, we have like 17 of these filled with peanuts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is six bags of pig pellet. 25 pounds each bag. Timothy pellet, we have plenty. Don't need to restock. Peanuts, yep, we got plenty of peanuts. And then I just restocked the goat food in this and that. And then, let's see, that's all the bags. So the pink bag is the goat food, and all the white ones are the pig's food. Um, and we keep that for cats because um, they use that to clean the litter box because litter is heavy, better than Watch trash bags. Um, as you can tell, we don't have a lot of hay bells right now so basically we'll stack this up super high and then we're getting some loose stuff and you can see what the yuccas did to a whole bell of hay yep they did that now obviously with a storm like this one thing we want to do is we want to make sure we leave our pipe stripping and last time i just did the cold and it was splashing and actually froze this part and so i couldn't open the lot so i'm think i'm just gonna leave both going for a little and um I always put a bucket in here so I can actually catch the water, use it in case we run out. Even if we don't freeze over, it comes in handy to have a full bucket of water. Yep. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to strip every stall on Tuesday morning and make sure everybody has new and dry bedding and probably extras because we are going to close all the doors. So these guys get to go in and out as they please. They're not going to this week. And the big group. This is the massivest of hay bells. Straw bells, oh my god. Never gonna get those right. And we're gonna spread it all up and down. Yep. And Seth's picking up poop. No, 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 why? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I go away.
In terms of staff rules, obviously we have rules we have to follow when we have a storm like this. And basically it's like very little moving around. Everybody stays in their section and do not move once you're in your section. So farm is divided into two teams. We have the barn up here with me and then we have the arena down there with Ruth. And um, basically whoever's working the arena cannot come up here and I cannot go down there. Um, there we're also not allowed to walk. So I walk to work every day. That's gonna be fun. Um, and so for lunch break and to bring me in the morning and to take me home at night, um, John's probably gonna come with his pickup um, that he's gonna have to leave running for the whole day and night again. <laughs> Cause he actually does um, animal checks every two hours during the night so that we make sure that everybody's nice and cozy. <coughs> And he doesn't do the dogs because the dogs live in the yurts with the caretakers. But he comes and checks on the barn, he checks on the horses, and then he goes and checks on the cats, make sure everybody's got water. Um, but yeah, minus 45 degrees coming your way. Hi, Johnny. Hey, sorry, did I wake you? Hi. What, you think you're cute? Go back to sleep. So how do I get ready for one of these storms, you ask? Well, let me show you. So I'm going to make a go bag. In it, I'm gonna have the filming stuff, extra socks, yeah. You know, your feet sweat and then you get cold. Um, phone charger, my crimps, which these are honestly pretty great, put them on the boots. Um, I have a lot of gloves and the reason I do this is because when I deal with the water, um, it's so cold that, well, at last storm, I'm not sure this one's gonna be as bad. But if my gloves got wet, then that was it, done deal. I couldn't do water anymore. So taking a lot of gloves. Um, snackies, this is for Seth and me. Um, sun chips for me and pirate booties and I think he's gonna obviously love these junk foods and basically anything I have open. Now pigs actually suck at using their tongue so I am bringing two things of peanut butter and this pumpkin thing that I had gotten for cashew and I'm gonna smear it in their food bowl and watch them go crazy because they're not really good at licking. Um, can opener for the can walkie-talkie and I'll probably bring the charger um, sunglasses because I can't see anything they're prescription by the way that's why I'm always wearing them um, my pocket knife that I love scarf working hands guys this is like this is this this is the stuff um, I'm kind of low on my band-aids up there so I'm bringing just a few more um, baby wipes for me and for the pigs honestly I use them all the time on Martha to wash her face um, this is everything I'm gonna wear. I'm taking my Crocs because I have so many extra socks I might just put two pairs of socks on and I'm not gonna go outside So I might want to be comfortable. These kind of suck because my feet will get sweaty in them and then they're just like wet And I don't like it and there's a boot dryer up there that we're gonna use um, So this is actually two pair of fleece pants. I worked half a day today And so I wore them so I'm gonna wear them again tomorrow and these are my long john bottoms. I might not wear all three of them, but um, I'll at least take it in my bag just in case it does get really cold in there. My hat, sweatshirt, long john top, uh, Carhartt overalls, um, very insulated. Um, they're kind of already dirty, but yeah. And oh, meal prep. Um, and since I do not want to have to worry about eating lunch or dinner, um, but I also don't want to eat junk food. I'm prepping. So I basically did like a whole box of pasta. This is me snacking uh, rotisserie chicken for a few days ago. I haven't eaten yet today. And it's like 2.30. Hey, it's 2.22. Look at that, guys. Maybe we'll be lucky. I'm going to roast this in the oven real quick. Super simple. Um, Pre-processed veggies. I'm going to cut this up. And then I'll make different combinations, which I'm going to put... And these, and then that way when I come home at night, I pop it, I'll season it, toss it up, whatnot, put it in the Ninja while I'm in the shower, and when I get out of the shower, it should be pretty easy to make some dinner. So, I'm Italian. I love pasta, but I have found that as I got older, I can't really handle the real thing anymore, and it was really sucky because I just basically did not have pasta for the longest time. But then, La Mama found the best gluten-free option that I've pretty much ever had. So, it's a brown rice base. It's called Jovial. I like the brown rice one. 
Uh, they have a cassava one. I don't like it. But they have the capellini, which a lot of people don't have the capellini. Um, they have spaghetti. They have lasagna. They have the manacotis. They have all of them. So here is my meal prep. I figured day one I would do chicken, mushrooms, spinach, and tomatoes. And I'll probably steam that. Mine is the tomato. So I'll probably pop this in the microwave. Get this wilted. Everything warmed up and whatnot. And then put it in the... Um, uh, in the air fryer and then probably that's when I'll cut the tomatoes in half and put them in there and then I'll probably toss in like a um, spoonful of the Greek yogurt to give it like creaminess kind of thing and then toss in the pasta that I made and then Dunzo's on day two and I basically just basically like just wow that's a lot of basically just anyways um I just plop this in the stupid convection microwave oven which really sucks um, but at least it part cooks everything to where tomorrow it's going to be easier. During the week it's going to be easier. But chicken, zucchini, honestly, super simple. I figured marinara. And then I'll put it in the um, air fryer and I'll cut these up really tiny like chiffonette. And um, put on top with some mozzarella. Tilimhook. Tilimhook mozzarella is very good. And then plop it in the oven to roast. And then third day... Um, I might change my mind on this because it's the wrong kind of noodles, um, but I mean, I am really could not care less. But I was thinking going more like, you know, Asian with this one. A little miso, a little teriyaki, a little sake, a little tahini. Um, I might, I don't know, I'll probably find some more mushrooms, probably find something to supplement the veggies on this one. And then a little bit of pasta. And then for the fourth day, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do for the fourth day, um, but I'll have a lot of pasta left over. But yeah, that's how I prep. And cashew preps by being cashew. And sitting in the hallway. Are you always in my feet? What you want? Barba. What you want, my puppy do? You think you're cute? You do think you're cute. Isn't he cute, you too? Look how cute the little baby boy is. Okay, so all in all, the morning's going pretty well. It is 9.30 and the goats are happy and it's really warm in the main barn. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I need to start cleaning but I don't even know where to start. And Kevin over here. Kevin, won't leave me alone. This is the mean goat by the way. Look at that. <laughs> There's uh, one of those cow brushes inside and they love it. They love it. Hey y'all, I am a hot mess. Um, so this storm was actually pretty non-eventful. Everything went pretty smooth except for the goats being crazy, um, which is good. Um, we did a lot of work to the barn so that we'd be not so cold and actually the barn was warmer than my house this morning. Hopefully there's still a video in here somewhere and some of you might be interested in seeing the prep part um, since the actual execution was pretty smooth and non-existent. Um, yeah, I'm cold. Yeah, so yesterday was like supposed to be the rough day, um, and it was. It was super windy, and it was snowing, but it wasn't coming down the way we expected it to, I guess. I feel like instead of the 18 inches we expected, we got more like five. Um, but nothing that snowed yesterday accumulated because of the wind, but to, last night the wind died, which was phenomenal, and um, snow started accumulating, and it's like... I think it said it was minus 10 with feels of minus 24 this morning when I left the house to come up here, which was like not even five minutes ago. Um, and it feels glorious just because it's sunny. So yeah, here's a view. Glorious. Just a freaking glorious day. And yeah, it is minus 24. I just double checked. Feels, not actual. Actual is more like minus 5 right now. But isn't it gorgeous? So yeah, the barn is a disaster. Everybody is wondering how I'm surviving because I'm one of those neat freak people. Kevin's being a bully. Surprise, surprise. Mama goat always thinks I have food and Kevin gets very jealous. Surprise, surprise. But everybody is warm and cozy and have water. Here's my ukes. Enjoying the breakfast quietly and they drink water I'm surprised I didn't think they would but yeah the barn is a disaster and I need to kind of like I don't know I didn't know hey Frankie-o did you cute 
Hey, Georgina. Do you want your Timothy pellet? I can't give you your Timothy pellet because you haven't even moved. And everybody says I'm fattening you guys up. Huh, Kevin? Kevin's always following me around. This goat hated me. Yep, so this has been what the two days have been like. Everybody running around like crazy idiots and me trying to keep everybody happy and fed and watered and the goats have murdered my hay pile, man. I had six bales, I'm down to one, and it's not because everybody ate, it's because the goats destroyed them. Yep, you Billy O. What is you doing? <laughs> Oh, he loves this part scratch. He loves this right there, right behind the horns. Actually, they all kind of do. Kevin's coming. He's going to be jealous. Kevin, Kevin. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. You can ask for love, but if you headbutt me, I don't talk to you for the rest of the day. We made rules. Yeah, he's a headbutter. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person that hasn't been headbutted by him in like months. I think Billy approves of the registrars. Hello. So the storm is over. I've never been so happy. I'm so ready to get everybody outside tomorrow. It's actually like 58 degrees here right now. No, it's not. It's really nine, but it feels like 58 because of the sun. And then the wind, look at this, look at this. Look at this beauty. But you know, let's go ahead and be minus 40 for three days. So adieu everybody. Thank you for watching. And hopefully next time I see you in warmer weather. <laughs>